Hello family, it's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your November 2022 reads. What's up big baby? How have you been? I have missed you oh so dearly. I hope you had a great Halloween. I hope that you um, enjoyed yourself and got lots of candy. You and your children had a great time. And if you celebrated Dia de los Muertos, I pray that it was a very beautiful time. I got to enjoy my, um, my ancestral time also. So with that being said, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should like a run on over there and follow me at Arena Luciano. No numbers, no underscores, nothing like that. Just Arena, all right? Arena Luciano. Very easy. Now... With that being said, if you're a returning family member, I'm so happy to see you. I'm so excited to be with you guys again. Let's let's go into the lineup, okay? So the lineup is going to be a very brief overlook at like the energies happening astro astrologically, okay? Or in the heavens, however you want to look at that. These energies will tie into the reads. However, with that being said, remember, we are in eclipse season and we're trucking it along to 2023, big baby. And if you're interested in it, 2023 reading hit me up on my link tree all right now these are going to be very brief descriptions and then when we will break it down into the elements the elements will get an oracle read we will start there and then break it down into each sign each piece connects to the other but guess what i know you ain't got a lot of time baby so you can just hit that time stamp all right now with that being said let's talk about what's going on november 5th and 2022 baby Venus is in Scorpio, 13 degrees. 13 comes down to a what? A four. We are like, who we want in our house? What? This is cuffing season, boo. Who you cuffing up with? Who you snuggle bunning up with, right? These are our values and our compassions, right? What are we compassionate about? What do we desire? And that is being... Um, opposed by Uranus and Taurus at 14 degrees, 14 degrees, 14 comes to a five. We want to change something, okay? We're trying to learn the balance. We want to be cuffed. We want our freedom, but we want it to be freaky deaky. We want this. And so we're going through what it is that we truly want to move to the next level. November 6th, we go into Venus and Scorpio. Venus uh, is squaring Saturn and Aquarius. We're realizing something is just not right. Like there's no balance. There are things that are not making sense. And we want things to change. Venus and Scorpio is this energy of like diving deep in your loves, your desires, your passions. Okay. Squaring Saturn is a challenge to the rules you might have imposed on yourself or that of the collective. Okay. Now. Don't be surprised if we have some like break break news like this whole like November. There's going to be a lot of um, things being exposed. OK, people being exposed, the government being exposed, things like that. I have to watch what I say. Anyways, be ready for exposure. OK, <laughs> now on the 8th, this is a very important day. OK, write it down, circle it, take a damn dirty picture because this is a full moon and total lunar eclipse. All right. 16 degrees Taurus. All right. Taurus, we want to get things started stable 16 for me i'm going to break it down this way one is the individuality right six for me is passions joy art you know tying back to the past a little bit but we're going to combine those numbers to get the number seven for me it's a divine message from above right so we're getting these divine messages these powerful dreams inclinations intuition is on point and things are being revealed okay things are this is a whole month of revelations okay um, I feel like everybody is getting called out. Every If you lied, if you did something wrong, exposed. Okay, so watch what you're doing behind people's backs. Now, also on the 8th, we have something very beautiful. We have um, Mercury. Oh, my notes. Sorry. Mercury is Kazemi. Kazemi. Again, 16 degrees. So when Mercury is Kazemi, it's right by the heart of the sun, but it's in the sign of Scorpio. So Scorpio rules the eighth house. This is those intimate, very lots of intimacy, deep darkness, hard, like hard emotions, not bad, hard emotions. Like we're really bringing everything out. We're really getting that out. Okay. Now on the ninth, the sun is in Scorpio opposite Uranus and Taurus. Big news, big revelations and big changes. This is just what I feel. Okay. Now. On the ninth, we also have Mercury in Scorpio, square Saturn in Aquarius. 
Mercury and Scorpio wants to talk about it, okay? We want to talk about what's going on with the rules, the regulation. Why are you, you know, putting that on me? Why are you putting that on the collective? There is a lot of decisions about changes that need to be made. We are living in a very exciting time, to say the least, all right? Now, the 11th, one of my favorite days, because this is the day that my oldest daughter was born, November 11th, okay? I always tell her she's my 11-11 blessing, and it's Veterans Day, so to all my veterans out there, my dad, happy Veterans Day, TT. Thank you for all that you've done. Thank you for helping us to get to where we've been. Blessings on you and your families. Now, Sun and Scorpio on that day, okay, square Saturn in Aquarius. There's a lot of squares to Saturn. Saturn is big daddy. He rules the sky. He's the one. He's the hot boss hog in charge, right? In Aquarius is for the collective. There is a lot of talk about the rules, regulations, and laws that need to change. And you can even take this into your own life and say, what needs to change in my life and how do I move forward, right? Now, on the 15th, we kind of shift our gears a little bit. Venus, you know, like little Venus talking about love, okay? I'm ready for some love. It enters into Sag, and it's like quick, fast, and in a hurry. Hi, Sagittarius, with your sexy thighs, you know, okay? On the 17th, now Mercury's like, wait, Venus, I want to come with you, girl. I want to come with you. And he enters into Sag. So we want to talk about love. We want to talk about having fun. We want to enjoy ourselves. We want to be around family and friends and have joy and happiness again we're tired of kind of having to be exposed to so many different things and we're just wanting that closeness again now on the 19th um, Mars is in Gemini square Neptune and Pisces Gemini with let's talk about it Mars is like let's talk about it okay but Neptune and Pisces is, is a little bit of like ooh, you know this I'm gonna tell you be careful with gossip um, if you think someone's lying, they probably are. There's a lot of deceit in the air that day. Do not say anything behind someone's back because they're going to find out because we're still being exposed, okay? So this is not a great time to do those kinds of things. It's also a good time to speak from your heart. If you want to put it out there, put it out there, okay? Don't beat around the bush. Now, Mercury is conjunct Venus, six degrees of Sagittarius on the 21st. Mercury, the planet of communication, is right next to Venus at the number six, all right? So they want to talk about it, be about it, and have a good time, okay? And on the 22nd, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Sag. If you want to celebrate, call me. I love to party. <laughs> People are like, no, you need to stop partying. I know, but I do in Sagittarius. Like, I will have a, we will have a blast, okay? Now, on the 23rd, Jupiter goes direct 28 degrees Pisces. Let's break down the number 28. Two, partnerships, relationships, um, polarities, things that need to be into balance. The number eight, I always think of abundance, travel, communication. We combine those two numbers together, we get the 10. The one plus the zero, the one tells us there's a new beginning and that zero amplifies it, okay? It amplifies that one. So this is like a wonderful time to start over, a great time. And think about Jupiter, he's king of the gods, right? And he rules Pisces and Sagittarius and he is in his little place of happiness right now. He rules knowledge and expansion and we want the clarity and this is like the joy like the oh like the aha moment that's what this is so with that being said happy birthday Sagittarius call me if you're a Scorpio and you haven't celebrated yet call me so make sure that you go show love to all your Scorpios and Sagittarius's happy Veterans Day if you want a reading from me the only way to book guys and I'm gonna have some specials running in November and December for the new year all right I will be getting some new year readings out too as soon as I get some time off um, with that you can only book through my link tree but if you don't follow me on Instagram come on over let's have a great time and let's chat all right stay tuned for the reads Hello, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Hi, love bugs. How are you doing? I hope you're doing super fun, fabulous. We're going to jump into your oracle reading today. So we're going to start off with the message from your ancestors. And we have the four-legged for endurance. It's time to fight for your right to pour any water signs. What the hell are you doing? But you're going to be in it for the long haul. This is also about connecting to your totem, your power animal, the things that give you strength, maybe even having a familiar. This is also about including your friends in your visions and in your mission. 
emotions. You've kind of detached yourself from people and it's time to reconnect. All right. Now, with that being said, your other ancestor message comes from no other than Peppa Le Pew, the skunk. <laughs> All right. This is some interesting energy. I love telling this story. So, and I have the book in front of me to make sure I'm telling it right. So the key words here are foolish, risk, daredevil, and a little bit of arganza. So what we have going, what is that on my forehead? I always feel like I have a big mark right here, but it's just my forehead because I have a big forehead. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> this jaguar, I mean, this this skunk was paired up with jaguar. Like, they were, like, bestest of friends. Jaguar would teach him how to hunt and stuff. And so one day, he was watching him, and he, the jaguar took the moose down, right? And the skunk was like, man, I got this. Everyone is scared of me, right? And so the jaguar said, I'm going to go take a little bit of a nap, and I'll be right back for you. And the skunk scratched the belly of the jaguar, who woke up and sprang up and got the moose for him and dragged him down to dinner. Some days passed, and Skunk's mother said to him, Dear, we're out of meat. He said, Oh, no problem, Mom. Huh? I got you. I can do this. And she's like, No, I think we'll be fine. And so then the skunk goes, and he's hunting, and he sees some things, but they're just too small, right? They're just too little for him. And he's such a big guy, right? So he's like, he's waiting for the moose. He's waiting for the moose. And soon this big old great moose comes in, and Skunk goes, and he gets him. And they never saw Skunk again, okay, because he did a foolish thing. So what this is telling you is that it's important to take risks, yes, but calculate your risk. Like, look at the whole situation, water sign. Don't be jumping over things and, and making mistakes like that, thinking that you're able to do something that maybe you're not trained in. Maybe it's above your head. Maybe you need some guidance in, in, in that situation, which leads us to the planet that wants to work with you which is Saturn, and Saturn likes rules. Saturn wants you to be realistic, especially in the sixth house, with, which is the ruler of pets also, so it's be responsible with your pets. This is also about paying attention to your day-to-day -day activities, your health, things of that nature, but you have to be concerned about how you're serving others, right? And you're going to have to wait and you're going to have to do a little bit at a time. You want something all at once right now and it's just not going to happen that way because Saturn said sit your, sit your bottom down, my friend, okay? Now, the maturity that brings service to others, right? You're going to want to do this. And there's a lot of you saying, hold on, this is good for some but not good for all. And you're going to be limited by the work that you can do. Now, your magic this month is what inspires you? What makes you feel lit up? I feel like it's really dark in here. What makes you feel, hold on, like everything is shining bright, like everyone is painted. What lights you up? Where is your excitement at? Are you happy? Like what is really going on and what makes you happy? Maybe what makes you happy has changed. Maybe it's time for new traditions, new things, new, 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 everything new, right? <laughs> What's that Papa John's reel? Better ingredients, but <laughs> that's you. You're trying to make better things out of your life and people don't understand that all the time. But it's not about pushing those four-legged friends away, pushing your real friends away or being too arrogant to ask for help. It's about connection and communication. What inspires you to move forward? Akashically, you have the queen of scrolls coming in for you. This could be an opportunity at work because the sixth house showed up. This could also be an opportunity with a contract, um, someone offering you some, something. If you're thinking about starting a business, starting a website, yes, this is good news. And I'm going to say be aware that how Mars sets in your, in your chart because we are in a Mars retrograde. So if it's something that you've already planned to do and you're going to do it again, great. So take your time and move forward. Your crystal is obsidian. This is one of my favorite crystals. It's cooled molten lava, okay? And it reveals the truth. It gives you the truth. And under the guidance of a trained therapist, the properties can bring alarming emotions. It's a stone of great healing. It releases blocks of the soul and it protects you. It facilitates stress relief and it gets to the root cause of the problem. It also helps with past traumas. It evolves your spirit. Now, on a physical level, it, it is strong powers of release to help reduce blockages of the mind and the body and the digestion and, and blood-related ailments. It's great for arthritis, cramps, bleeding, injuries, pains, and joint problems. This card signifies that the truth of a situation will be revealed very, very soon, but you must first look within yourself to find the answers. So, very interesting energy coming forth for you guys. Stop pushing people away, water signs, so that you can have the support to get to the next level. All right? Reconnect with your friends. So, here we go. 
two questions in your mind's eye, and I will tell you yes or no. You are very torn between how to move forward in something. Very, very torn here, right? You're just like, eek, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know what's going to happen. You feel kind of like you're being pulled apart. One side, you got the black pearl. That could be the obsidian. And on the other side, you have your snake. That could be your transformation, shedding your skin, or it could be your poison, right? So question number one, whatever it is in your mind that's making you have to decide, it's going to be a no. Because look at the two snakes fighting down here. Look at all this conflict. He can't, okay? Pew, 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 okay? <laughs> You're going down, bro, if you go that way, okay? Don't go. Don't pass go. Don't collect $200. Stay home. Stay home, okay? Don't go. Card number two, it's a yes. Whatever you're asking is a damn dirty. Hell yes. And I'm going to say this. There's somebody who needs to go make sure that their uh, digestion is working well. There's something with the stomach, with your solar plexus. There's also something with you needing to be out in sunlight. There's also a clearing and a cleanse that needs to happen because I see a lot of energies around you. So if you do work in the spiritual realm or anything like that, be sure that you're clearing and cleansing on a regular because there's a lot of energies around you, especially with what happened, you know, what happens with Halloween and stuff and the veil. And, you know, some people believe certain things. So a good clearing and a cleanse good meditation remove those things and keep it going all right so let's jump into your reading we're gonna get a general energy and then we're gonna break it down into the signs we're gonna hit up them fancy ass cancers body of a dancer okay and then we're gonna hit up in them sexy scorpios with them eyes that be ripping through your soul and then our beautiful wonderful pisces okay our artists our seers let's see are we ready? No, we're not. They said give it an... I think this is it right here. I think so. And it is. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Woo, y'all got a lot of fiery energy. Woo. What's going on? Okay. All right, here we go. We're going to go for it. We got the High Priestess here. This energy is you already know. That's that big you know you already know trust your intuition as you're moving forward don't second guess yourself and stop asking for other people's opinion when you already know okay so let's look at the bottom of the deck we have temperance coming in this is sagittarius energy of course but this is for me family tree being grounded as we move forward making decisions chaff with your heads chaff with your heads gemini libra aquarius energy we are making logical decisions we're going to our spirit guides we're, we're protecting ourselves we're not letting people break us down. We're not letting people take our energy. Prince of Wands, Prince of Pentacles. This right here is somebody playing with your time. Okay, someone might be saying, oh, I don't want nothing serious with you. And deep down inside they do. Or this is just someone who's wanting to make an offer, but they're taking forever. Okay, we also have the Hierophant here. So this is either spiritual enlightenment because I have it right next to the uh, High Priestess or this is taking a relationship to the next level. Some of y'all might have two options on the burner. I would say go with the one that is acting right. Okay, go with the one that makes you happy. All right, don't be going with the one that hurts your feelings all the time and leave you on red. I just thought I would throw that in. So are you ready, guys? Are you ready to jump into your reads? Let's go. Hello, Cancer. How are you doing? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, if you're listening, for love. So, what do we got here? What do we got going on? We got the High Priestess energy. She says, look, hold your britches. I feel like now it's too bright. Like, first it wasn't bright enough. Now it's too bright. Like, I feel like my forehead is shinier than the whole wide world, right? Like, it's shinier than the damn light. Anyways, here we go. We're back. Focus. Focus, Cancer. <laughs> My third eye is like coming out of my forehead or something. Like I feel like, like like this bone is sticking out. Anyways, focus. Focus, Ari. <laughs> it's been a long day, guys. I've been doing all these readings. I'm a little stressed out. So we have the high priestess. I feel like you're very in tune with something. I also feel like there's a revelation coming in. There's knowledge coming in. You could be dealing with a fire sign. I got a lot of lion energy. But if you think about lions, they see through the darkness. They make sure that they're seeing things. They're not, they're not blinded. So I feel like you're seeing things. You're being very creative as you move ahead. I have the energy of Aries Leo Sag coming in here. But the king of wands is very creative. You have a spirit guide coming in saying, baby, I got you. Okay. I got you, boo-boo. I got you and your inner child, and we, we're going to do this, okay? So this is a month of protection. I almost want to say that, like, your friends, your family, people who love you are going to gather around you and be like, what do you need, cancer? All right, let's do it. <laughs> like, they got your back. Like, they got you, can. Can, can, they got you. 
Okay, we got to do a pick a card. Okay, why is the king of wands here? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Again, your second chakra. This is this is really you focusing on your creativity, okay? Your sexual creativity, whatever you're creating, boo. If you're making baskets, whatever, Christmas wreaths, babies, protect the sacral, okay? Lots of oranges and yellows. Color, 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 baby. And vodka. It's good. It's good. All right. Did I write anything down for my Sag and family issues? <laughs> Sagittarius. If you have a Sagittarius uh, next to you, I'm going to say be very careful because them people is going through some family issues, okay? Lots of issues. So, card number one or card number two. Or if you have a lot of Sag in your chart, you might want to go watch that because there's a lot of family stuff. Card number one, prepare yourself. Be ready to see things for what they are because there is a storm of brewing. There's something going on in the background, okay? Cancer, cancer, cancer. What we got? Body shape like a dancer. Woo! First card. King of swords. Off with your head. <laughs> then we have Scorpio energy. We are... Okay, I believe you're like, look, it's about kids because this has a little devil and this has a little Scorpio guy. And you're like, mm -mm, sit, sit down, boo, sit down. Seven of Pentacles. Is it worth it? Is, is it worth it? Is it worth it to start over? Is this so worth it because I'm so tired of it? For some, this has to do with work because I have two kings. There's a recognition that you feel you deserve. They're not giving it to you. There's a recognition within your family you feel you deserve. You're not getting it. Why are you not getting it? Because you deserve it, Cancer. Luck. Anxiety. And communication. What's it? What else? What else? And loyalty. Someone who is supposed to be very loyal, very much there for you, but you still feel kind of like, why are you doing this now of all times? Like, I needed you now. This is the happiest I've been, and you can't support me at the happiest that I am. Why? You know, what's going on here? Why is this happening? So let's see here. What do we got here? The fates. It just has to happen this way. I know it sucks. It's going to happen no matter what you do. It's something that has to happen. And you're either dealing with a Scorpio or a fire sign. Okay? There's something going on there. Aries Leo. Not Aries Leo. Sag. Scorpio fire sign. Yeah. Or there's this energy of like a Gemini Libra or Aquarius saying like enough is enough. Like we're cutting this shit off. We're not going to play your game. I have done everything you wanted me to do. What else do you want from me? What? And I feel like you're so frustrated, but the storm is coming. The storm is blowing in, you know, and that's why we got to get ready. We got to have our candles ready just in case the lights go out, okay? Card number two, we're protecting our abundance, okay? We're protecting our finances. We're making sure that things are in alignment. That was like a Thanksgiving card, so just be ready for Thanksgiving for some kind of crazy information to come in, okay? Look, Three of Swords. Are you freaking kidding me, Cancer? What? Why are they doing this? And then the wheel comes in. Pay attention to the tenth. And then we have to make a really tough decision. It's like a really tough decision that's going to have to be made. You're cutting something off, okay? Again, I have ten by the eleven. So I want to say there is something that's going to be a major decision, with a soulmate because I have 11 11 because I have you know the two of swords and it looks like an 11 and I do feel like there's a major decision that's coming in for you it's really really difficult and you don't know how you're going to move forward what is this wheel about look confusion about a new beginning the stork the clouds and communication communication is really choppy for you I got the stork as the number 17 and the fates as the 17 so the 17th is going to be important I'm going to say no major decisions on the 17th and that is when mercury enters into Sagittarius so you might be like blah, 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 or somebody's speaking their mind just a little too much and you're done you are completely done with it and you're ready to move forward okay we're not going to do this like you're like look we're not playing this game charlotte o'fara i don't know i made up that name but anyways <laughs> charlotte o'fara who the hell is she anyway charlotte go sit down this could also be with children because i have the six of cups looking at me now you do have a spirit guide that's like 
let's help you. Let's help you. You know what? Before I move forward, clues on, I'm about to call him the fireman, <laughs> the uh, king of wands. Can I have some clues on the king of wands? Backpack, backpack. Come on, backpack. What we got in there? There we go. Bitcoin. We want that money. Okay. But they bugging us with the trolls and something about a ladder. Okay, you might have made more money. There's a man with very eccentric hair, whether he has none or has too much or it's ugly. We don't know. But he got interesting hair. You're making more money. You're moving up, but they're bothering you about it. And they like, they're making you feel bad for growing, for advancing, for being who you are. Like they're making you feel guilty. So that's why the carob of wands, the lion headed spirit, said, Back, back. Give me 50 feet because I'm about to fight for cancer. You might have a little fire friend. Little firefighter, <laughs> firefighter friend coming through. Y'all can't take me to the club. I'll try to fight for you. I may not even know you, but I mean, ah, no. See, mm -mm, can't take me nowhere. You got the god of magic, Tepiloto. Tep okay, so there is something about protection magic, protection sigils, fire magic, candles, like a return to sender, something like that. I'm gonna be offering those things soon too. All right, for people who I trust that aren't going to hurt me. <laughs> All right, Cancer, let's get this story on Tepe Yolot, okay? Heart of the mountain defined for the drag jaguar. There's a lot of jaguar magic coming through today, and it's associated with the art of magic. Remember the skunk, right? The skunk and jaguar, they was homies, all right? Now, Jaguar is now the powers that this, this energy uses. And magic is no more or no less than a conscious act of creation by combining three elements simultaneously. The will, desire, and imagination, okay? And it is the application of these three together that will create this for you, okay? Tepatol's powers included the ability to see the future, shape shift, Twin powers of magic, his priesthood was known for the use of hallucinogenic plants such as yahe, also known as the ayahuasca. Medicine men from all over Central and South America knew of the powers of this plant and used it to diagnose and heal the sick, to detect the arrival of enemies, to foretell events. See, a lot of people abuse these things. This is ancient medicine, and I also feel that you are very gifted in this also, Cancer. You are able to work with these energies, able to work with this magic, and that, and I feel like your spirit guides are saying, look, we, we taught you this for a reason, bro. You need to use this to climb the ladder. You need to use this to protect yourself, Cancer. Interesting. Interesting reads for that I've been getting lately. So... Why do we need the magic? Why do we need the spirit guide? Because we need to move past this. We need clarity. The seven of wands to get to that ace of wands to, to nurture our dreams, our hopes, our wishes, right? The ace of swords. We are, we are, man, you're coming in fast, bro. Like you're coming in, you've made your choice and your decision. You don't care who the hell you're cutting off anymore. You're like, look, the song, I got the power. <laughs> That's what's going through my head. Anyways, this is beautiful energy. This is you getting what you want, but really being firm with your boundaries. And I know you're like, how the hell do you get that? But it's just like in my head, sorry. And the songs are going too. It's a lot of voices in there. Something's not for you. Let that shit go. Move forward. Something better is on the horizon. Okay? It's just look ahead. We're not looking in the past. We're looking ahead. We over there. They over there. We know where they're coming. We got the energies. Okay? We ain't worried about them. We living in the land of milk and honey. Now, if you want to go eat hot dogs and what is it? Macaroni and cheese. Why well, I eat my filet mignon because I go to work and I do what I got to do. And I'm not hating on no one because I do like mac and cheese. Okay? Not the hot dogs too much, but the mac and cheese, I'll tear up. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is don't let someone belittle you because you've moved on. You don't have to out you don't have to hide your shine because you've moved on and you've grown. And you shouldn't be punished for being happy. It's really a hateful energy. And your spirit guides are like, look, this is just not for you. Go live your life. Be happy. Go surround yourself with your four-legged friends, okay? Are your two-legged ones who support you, all right, Cancer? And be happy. Because the Princess of Cups has an offer for you. And let's see what this Princess of Cups is about. What is going on here? Because it's touching the knot for you. The Magician. Magic. Page of Swords. Ace of Cups. And the strength. 
Manipulation comes to my mind. They want to be seen in a certain light. But Cancer, all you're doing is trying to love them. And if they can't accept the love, they can't accept that love, friend, family, lover, they're not for you right now. Doesn't mean they're not for you in the future, but they're not for you right now, and you're going to move forward. Let's get some clues on this Princess of Cups. A lot of texting, Tinder card, very slender person, Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio-like energy. Doesn't have to be every Scorpio in your life, but there might be a Scorpio at the end of the month that you have tried and you've done the best that you can do, and now you're like, you know what? I'm just going to bless your life. I wish you nothing but the best, but I am not going to beg for your time, your energy, or acceptance because that is not going to happen today. But I love you, right? And we're going to walk away and keep it, keep it popping, boo. Keep it popping. Very interesting read. For those cancers who practice the arts of magic or who do those kinds of things, this is a month that you're going to be getting a lot of downloads, a lot of ideas. Write them down. They all may not be put into action because of the Mars retrograde, but you can always go back and, and um, try them again, okay? I wanted to show you something. This is why I'm saying magician, manipulation. They want to be seen in a certain way, okay? And here you are, like, I love you. I want to be your friend. Why are you doing this? And they paint you like a monster, but you're not a monster. It's just because they want what they want when they want it, okay? And it has to do with finances and being treated a certain way. There are some energies coming in for you that are going to be a little rough, okay, Cancer? But buckle up, Buttercup, and surround yourself with people who love you, people who celebrate you, so you can get to the next level, my love, okay? Now, let's look at your three messages from this deck. I don't remember the deck. I'm tired. What is it called? Divine Energy. What is their Divine Energy message? Oh, that's too many. We're going to go with the top one. Okay. Embrace your power. You're the damn dirty magician. You got this, okay? Let go and enjoy. Have a damn good time and trust the divine plan. Look, something isn't working right now doesn't mean it's not going to ever work. And if it doesn't work, then it just means that it wasn't for you. You have to release your expectations, release what you feel like it should be like, and allow it to be what it is and move forward. You have so many blessings coming your way. You can't let one pothole ruin you, okay? Unless you live in Houston, Texas like me and it messed up your tires. You know, that, that happens. It happens to me all the time. So there is a situation. I feel like you really need to go into prayer and meditation. I also feel like you need to reread contracts this month. If the family asks for money, it's a no. And I feel like stop hanging on to thinking that if you take care of people financially, then you will be part of the situation. You take care of yourself and you're very blessed financially. Things are going to work out in your favor. So is it time for love? Of course it's time for love. Because why? Cancer loves love. Cancers love to cook. Cancers love love. Cancers love Scorpios. <laughs> Y'all do. Okay, let's see here. What's going on? Doing a whole love read for you. That's why these videos are so long. Oh, Cancer. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. What are we doing, Cancer? We gotta work. There it is. That king of wands don't want to leave you alone, friend. Here you are. You're ruling the read. Ruling the ruin, Ruling the read, baby. Queen of cups said, everybody cup, everybody cup. Okay? However, we got a family issue going on. I got the king of wands, the knight of wands. We're working on it. Three of wands. We want to see ahead. But we've got to release toxic ties with people, places, things, mentalities, stories, narratives that we keep in our minds so we can have a hunk of hunk of burning love over here. Okay? Yeah, I know. I'm corny. I know. But I like him. He's like one of the cuter kings of the deck. Him and the king of cups. Like the king of cups got like this. Oh, no. No, not the king of cups. The king of swords. He got like that deity energy. I like him. So does he got a little bit of gray in his hair. Like, hey, we could be friends. Okay. She did a great job illustrating these cards. Nine of Wands wants you to know what's in the way of your love is the Five of Wands. You're in a little bit of conflict with things, like wondering. Some of y'all are wondering, am I happier than my ex? Is my ex happier than me? It just be happy. 
Be happy. Enjoy. Um, are people approving of my relationship? Fuck them. I don't care if they are or not. If you're happy, happy. Be happy. The Eight of Pentacles said we need to work on communication. We need to talk things through with the Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups. Keeping to our word, keeping to the things that we say. And you know, she's doing magic in the Eight of Pentacles. This is like money magic, herbal magic. Keep your promises with herbs and magic that you have made. I don't know what that means to anybody. Three of Wands says with temperance, take your time, boo. You can't jump from here to China, okay? But you can jump to the ticket booth. You got to take the steps, okay? Take the steps. What does the devil want us to know? Don't get sidetracked with rendezvous with the three of wands over here. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's something that sometimes you go back in your mind or you go back and think about a time when things were spicy. Yeah, you know, it's not always spicy. It's not always like that, okay? Sometimes we got to like freaking put our foot down and be like, look, I got to be responsible. Keep my commitment. Not be running around town with someone else, okay? Cancer. What does this King of Wands want you to know? Ooh, he wants you to know a lot. King of Wands said, let me tie you up, buttercup, release the past, and let's get married. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. The King of Wands really is hooked on you, the hangman. He sees growth, potential, and he wants to move past that. And I also feel like there's also a thing, and there's, this is going to happen a lot. People are going to meet other people and they will reminisce about us still. We can feel their energy. Cancer, you're cutting all that off and you're moving forward. Queen of Cups wants you to know you're healing. You're healing even if you're in a relationship. You are still healing. You are still learning. You are still in love. There's also something about spicing up your relationship if you've been in one for a while. And we should do card readings on that. Y'all, we would be probably X-rated and I'd be kicked off YouTube, all right? Because I'm crazy. One more card for Cancer. Look. The moon. The moon has been affecting your love life. The moon and the stars are right next to each other. I feel like the person you're with thinks you're the moon and the stars. And I also feel that you like to feel that way. And I think that whatever's going on in outside of your love life has been affecting your love life and your self-esteem. And that's going to change soon because you're going to release those patterns and those toxic things. Pay attention to the 13th. You might get a phone call or a text from an ex, okay? So, with that being said, let's get some oracles. Oracles, give me some oracles, and then we're going to read a passage. Look, deceit. Told you, the devil in deceit. Oh, focus on your coins, girl. Keep your commitments, because you got someone who loves you, all right? We ain't worried about that. Stay strong. Keep your panties on, okay? Or your choice, sir. Be strong. Keep your underwears on, all right? Because we ain't trying to be down with the nitty-gritty when we got somebody for us, okay? We're not third-partying over here, Cancer, okay? So let's do some automatic reading. We're going to use the Mastery of Love. What does Cancer need to know about love? The God within you. Ready? Page 185. The main way... To use knowledge is to communicate with each other to agree on what we perceive. Knowledge is the only tool we have to communicate because humans hardly communicate heart to heart. What's important is how we use our knowledge because we become the slaves of knowledge and we are no longer free. Wisdom has nothing to do with knowledge. It has to do with freedom. When you are wise, you are free to use your mind and run your own life. A healthy mind is free of the parasite. It's free again the way it was before domestication. When you heal your mind, you break free of the dream. You are no longer innocent, but wise. You become like a child again in many ways, ex except for one's big difference. A child is innocent, and that's why he can fall into suffering and unhappiness. The one who transcends the dream is wise. That is why she doesn't fall anymore, because now she knows she also has knowledge of the dream. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise, anyone. And when you become wise, life becomes easy because you become who you really are. This is about you stepping into your power, being the magician of your life, opening yourself up to multiple person, not person, multiple possibilities, okay? And not dealing with people who want to dim your light. I get really excited when I talk. So with that, my friends, if you're interested in read, hit me up at my link tree or DM me so I can send you the link. All right. Take care and have a wonderful holiday season.